The following is a Thorpe TV production brought to you in cooperation with Jack Thorpenson. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time once again for Saturday Gun Chat, that relaxing time way up north at Mr. Holster's ranch where Mr. Holster reflects on his week events and talks about guns. Let's have a warm round of applause for that Saturday gun guy. Here he is, direct from the floor, Mr. Holster. Hey, Jack, that was kind of a dig. <laughs> well, the guy is kind of a bum, though. <laughs> you see him last night, Matt? He was, oh, Mr. Holster, hey. Hey, Jack, that's me. Howdy, pards, it's me, Mr. Holster. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's get this sh show started right this morning to the sunny slopes of long ago. Uh, that didn't heat you up and cool you down all the same time. I tell you, it has rained all week long. We have gotten over nine inches of rain this week. There has not been a week in the last seven weeks that we have not gotten at least four inches of rain. So here we are. On to this now that I got that rant over. <laughs> and wasted another. Well, actually, that was pretty fast, wasn't it? Okay, here we go. I got a little, a little bag here from Midway, USA. And I'm going to pop the top on it, as Machine Gun Kelly would say. Yeah. And by the way, as long as I'm on this, onto this uh, Machine Gun Kelly, I don't know how many of you guys watch Machine Gun Kelly's videos. I watch them every, yeah, I, I watch them as soon as I, I try to get there. As a matter of fact, the other day I thought it was first to see his video, and I put that on there, but, but I wasn't. By the time I watched the whole video, I thought, oh, that's really good. I watched it twice because I liked the video so much. And then I went to post, and of course there's nobody down there because I've watched it. And I should have put first before I watched the video because two people watched it within came up minutes after I was there. Yeah, and they posted first. <laughs> so I lost out on that. But I'm going to put a link right now to his latest video. If you like AKs, a matter of fact, in this video, I'm going to put a couple links up here to his video. He's got a couple videos on AKs that are are fantastic. A as a matter of fact, the best AK videos I've seen out there, really. They're just fantastic. I, I just enjoyed them. Put it that way. It's not like, like they're... Well, the one is. The one's pretty artsy. But it's not like there's some great work of art as a video goes. They're just so, uh, they were just nice, enjoyable videos. I sat there and popped a beer and watched them and went, yeah. Oh. And that's why I watched the one twice. Yeah, because I really like that one. I'm going to put these right up here. Go check them out. And if you like that, like those, sub them. He's a good guy. And, and uh, yeah. A couple good videos. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> oh yeah, I got a, I got. You like this one? You think you would think I wouldn't need this, but it, mine are long gone. I got a baton holder here for an ass baton <laughs> from Gould and Goodrich because my wife's getting afraid to go out in the cattle pen. So got her that to to put the old ass baton in. I couldn't find the, I couldn't find any holders. This isn't bad, not bad. Inexpensive leather holster for it. I'll share that, even though you, you have no use to see that. <laughs> and then we got now, now you AK guys know what that is. Along with that, for a project I got going on, we'll give you a little sneak peek. A little project I got going. I don't know if that's really. Looks more like Desert Sand than FDE to me, but, eh, what the heck. Again, another AK project. A little FDE grip, we'll share that with you. And then last, but certainly least, <laughs> I don't know if it's least or not, but we'll get it out and look at it. Here it is. This is a Black Hawk Mountain Sling. And... I'm not a real fan of Blackhawk stuff. I, I haven't really ever seen any of it that's very impressive. But this had good ratings. And it was very inexpensive. It was nine bucks. 
let's pop it off and look at it and see what if it's really if we don't need that anymore we'll put it in the those circular files way over there I can't reach it put it right there let's take a peek okay oh, I think that's that's pretty good that's what I wanted and you'll see it's got a kind of sticky like material on the back here or where it sits on your shoulder which for me this ends up being the butt end yeah. and just a basic one and a quarter inch I really wanted it to be narrower than that but this was the best thing I could find for what I wanted just a small simple strap and it needs to be because I'm gonna actually put this on that new shockwave I have and try out the sling and do a little video on, on slinging that gun and I've, I've really used that shockwave I've gotten so much it just I just bought it because it was just a big novelty kind of a you say I can't have this and now I can't I'm buying it yeah one of those things and since I bought it I've used it almost every day here since and I've cleaned it every week I've shot that thing every week since I got it, which I got it back. The snow was on the ground when I got it. And so I got that other one because I want to camo it for winter time. And I may end up camoing my original one. I haven't decided if if a sling's needed or not on that gun. And so I decided, you know what? I got it. I got the sling mounts on the second one. I'm going to buy an inexpensive clean sling, which I think this is exactly what you'd use on it or what I would. I'm going to try it out and tell you what I think. We'll try it out in the shooting range and play with it a little and see if it's slingable or not. Yeah. See if Mr. Holster shoots himself in the butt or not. <laughs> that might be what a lot of people would like to see that, I bet. Or shot elsewhere. Anyway, there you go. There's our Saturday gun shot. Actually, I will say, for the for nine bucks, very I, this looks very serviceable and a nice sling and this is, I love to have these slings that are nothing but a cotton or nylon thin, but they seem to slide around, and we'll see what this, if this textured, rubberized textured piece sewn to it makes a big difference. If it does, because I really like, my, my idea of a sling has always been less is better. As simple as you can get is better. Yeah. Kind of like a holster too. You just it, the more complicated it is, the more territory it takes up on your belt, and it just starts getting ridiculous. So, there you go, guys. There's Saturday gun chat. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Till next time. Before I leave you, I'm having a contest right now. It's called the American Gunfighter 5000 Sub Giveaway, where I'm giving away a $350 gift certificate to Brownells, where you can go. Yeah, I, I didn't see this on Brownell, so I don't think you can get this here, but they have a lot of slings on Brownell. You could get a sling, you could get ammo, get gun parts, get whatever you want with that $350 gift certificate. And all you got to do to get my contest today is, number one, be a subscriber. Number two, like this video. And this one, I know it's kind of tough to like this one. And number three, in the comment section, down below, just type in what you're thinking and tag it with sling. Then I'll know what video it came from. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Till next time, go out and stay safe.